I don't have a great deal of enthusiasm for politicking, something I've already explained, which is that failure to warn costs lives. But I'm willing to do it anyhow because Robert Kennedy has proven himself willing to rip her back, knife his own back. And uh, I noticed that he was very good in protecting Searcy and the others with his mind. Woo! Kennedy mind. Frank Zappa used to come out, and, which is the sort of crony of Kent Robert F. Kennedy Jr. that I have to, um, the misfortune of being chronically bullied by, and they summon flash mobs to terrorize me. Zionist flash mobs, the sort who kill and rape. Dog raping flash mobs. Frank Zappa was that type of person. A Robert Kennedy crony of the sort on summon or the Gestapo mindset of Gail Burston who was never arrested. Get that clear. They projected on me for the big picture. Service. Slavery. Torture. For fun. Zappa used to stand in front of people playing his guitar full blast and insulting them. He'd say some really cruel, ugly things about the people listening, and then he'd hear his guitar whack. But you all love it, don't you? And they'd go wild. This is the sort of craven monster Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is when it comes to his own uncle and father's murder. He's jumping up, and if you can't beat him, join him. If you can't beat him, join him. And he wants everybody to play ball with this absurdity, this obscenity, this destruction of history. Now they used me for the big picture, right? They have this big picture show going. They massacre huge numbers of people. Well, that's okay because of the big picture. They steal and torture a poet who paints but it's the big picture. I have to go through life death. They torture me and give me Parkinson's to defend a gangster allegation that a girl I left completely untouched and never so much as bruised that her virginity proved me a rapist. This was Tony Levin's cosmic supernatural defense of Patricia Fripp schmoozing with Colin Powell who sold the idea of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Robert Fripp's petulant insistence that J.B. Bennett was a prophet for saying there was soon to be another ice age. All of them saying Reagan didn't know when he left smoking gun after smoking gun. And he expects me to go along with it at the age of 63. I give not one penny to those people willingly. If they can suck it from me in taxes, be my guest. If it's legal to take from me, you can you can do so legally. I will see you in court. Franchise, fascist, 